Hello, in this video we will demonstrate the new lookup tables visualization feature, available with Typhoon Hill Control Center software version 2022.1. Over time, Typhoon Hill's pre-built component library has expanded to include a number of nonlinear components, ranging from ones as simple as nonlinear inductors, to complex nonlinear machines with saturation and spatial harmonic effects included. By using Python nested lists, it is quite easy to define parameterization data for these components, and thanks to the flexibility of Python's function libraries, you can easily provide data from any standard file format. However, until now, it was really hard to properly visualize the data. Visualization can be especially useful for complex 3D and 4D nonlinear datasets, where it can be challenging to ensure data veracity. Typhoon Hill has added a built in option to components which utilize nonlinear dependencies in order to provide a flexible and easy to use way of visualizing nonlinear lookup tables. Currently, the feature is available for nonlinear machines, power converter losses, and the new battery cell component. In order to illustrate this functionality, let's open a previously made model. This model represents a simple drive system with a battery cell on the DC side a three-phase inverter with control implemented with signal processing, and a three-phase permanent magnet synchronous machine. All three of those components have multiple nonlinear dependencies which can be visualized using this new feature. Let's open the properties of the battery cell component. In the Basic Parameters tab, we can see the current settings of all basic parameters, some of which are interdependent. If we scroll down to the bottom of the tab, we can find the new button. Visualize Lookup Tables. Let's click on it. This brings us to the Lookup Table Visualization tool. On the left side of the window we can see a list of all the properties that can be used for visualization. After the name and value columns, we can see a third column called Axis Plotting Data. Here we can select which properties correspond to which of the three offered axes, X, Y, or Z. It is important to remember that you are not allowed to skip an axis. For example, you can define only axis X and visualize the table, but defining both X and Z axes and not a Y axis will throw an error. For every plot, select exactly one data property. Its dimensions must match the number of X, Y, or Z axes included. The selector must be set to none for any properties not used in the plot. Now let's plot a simple dependency. The simplest case is when we have only a data vector and one axis. For example, we can add the temperatures vector on the x-axis and internal resistance as the plotting data. Let's click Preview. As we can see internal resistance is a nonlinear function of temperature which is described with three points. If we want to zoom in on part of the graph, we can do that with constrained or rectangular zoom. By double-clicking on the graph canvas, we return to the default zoom level. Now let's consider a more complex case, with a 2D dependency. Here, we can observe how open circuit voltage varies according to state of charge and temperature. As we can see, every axis is labeled with its corresponding property name. On the right side we can see the legend which assigns different color shades to certain values of plotted data. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Or rotate the plot by holding the right mouse button and moving the cursor. We can also observe that hovering the mouse over a data point on the plane will reveal that point's data value as well as its values for all other axes. In the top right corner we have options for Downloading the plot as a PNG image file. Zooming. Panning. Orbital rotation. Turntable rotation. And resetting the camera to its default position. On the left side we can see three exporting options, as Python script, as a CSV file, or as a PNG image. The first one is especially useful for later reuse inside other Typhoon software. This is it for battery cell component. Let's close the lookup table visualization tool and close the property window. And look at the three-phase inverter. 
The lookup table visualization tool for this component can be used to display information related to loss calculation. It can be opened by the button found at the bottom of the losses tab. Lastly, let's see how we can use this tool to plot 4D data using the PMSM component. As we can see, the properties of this component are not set as numerical values, but rather by parameterization variables which are defined in the model initialization function. It is important to emphasize that both approaches are valid and the lookup table infrastructure can handle them both. Typically, in the case of complex nonlinear dependencies, it's preferable to use an initialization function. Let's click the Visualization button. As we can see, by default the vectors for angle theta, d-axis flux, and q-axis flux are added as the three axes. We can now add the d-axis current as the data for plotting and click Preview. In the plot we can see how a 4D dependency looks like. As in the 3D case we have two standard axes for variables. Besides them, an additional axis for the theta vector is added. Unlike for the other axes, values for this vector are fixed, but can easily be changed by moving the slider under the plot. This is all for this tutorial. We hope that you will find this feature both visually appealing and useful for day-to-day -day work. Thank you for watching.